Yo, noobs, hop in game fast. It's build battle time today. Finally, after all those episodes, I can flex on you with my building skills. Flexing on who with what, Donald? You can't even build a cube house. I agree with Joe here, Donald. Oh, come on, Dumbos. I'll show you how a real man builds his house today. You will see. Like and subscribe if you think I'm going to win. No, like and subscribe if you think I'm going to win. No, do it if you think I'm going to win. Sleepy Joe never loses. Okay, shut up and go in game already, noobs. I'm so hyped. Get me out of here, Donald. How do I break this block again? What tools do I need again to break these kinds of blocks? Ah, uh, God damn it. I'm just going to use my bare hands. Good luck getting out now, Joe. Maybe if you have taken your daily dose of dementia pills, rather than eating those dozens of ice creams you have, you might have remembered what tools to use for in that kind of situation. Shut up, Donald. Just you wait till I freaking get out of this shithole you locked me into. Now, now, Joe, I do not even think that is possible, even with you being the president of our graceful country. Next time, Joe, you should pay more attention to how we play so you can learn a thing or two from us. Shut up, Barack. I managed to get out of my hibernation bedroom, and I am on my way to kill you, Donald, if you don't give me back my Joe Jr. And why the fuck would I return your Joe Jr. to you, huh? Since when have you gotten the authority to command me, Joe? I will kill you, Donald. Just go ahead and try me, Joe. That's right. Back away, sleepy Joe, before I let you sleep in eternal slumber. Stop it, both of you. You are both acting like a child now. Donald, stop it and get back in helping me clear out the ground for our building contest, goddammit. Only if Joe decides to leave me. I'll give you this white medal if you return my Joe Jr. Donald. Give me some food, Sleepy Joe, instead of iron ingots, since I already am the richest person in this whole planet. Here, take it all. Just give me back my Joe Jr. That is more like it, Joe. If you really wanted your pink axolotl or Joe Jr. back, you would have done that the first time you offered it, dumbass. I forgot that you were a greedy man, Donald. Screw you and thank you for giving me back my Joe Jr. I wish you took your dementia pills so that you would never forget about me being the most humble person alive in this world, Sleepy Joe. Get back to work, Donald. If you want our building competition to happen, we all know we definitely cannot rely on Sleepy Joe here in this kind of work. And how important would that be compared to spending quality time with my cute pink little Joe Jr.? It would not even compare even in the lowest value. You just don't want to help Joe because you already see yourself losing from me in this upcoming epic build battle we will be having. Don't forget about me, Donald. It is me who shall triumph in this upcoming competition, and you both would look so sad after I could. I would rather sign all the papers I need to in my presidential office rather than see that orange clown win in this build battle. I bet you would build yourself a giant mega ice cream truck just to express your so-called love for eating dozens of ice cream a day. Oh yeah? I bet you would build yourself a circus because that is where you belong. You orange fat eating donut clown of a presidential candidate. Shut up and put yourself to sleep, Sleepy Joe. Did you get the joke, Barack? He will build a circus because he is a clown. Get it, huh? I get it, Joe. Do you think I'm that dumb to not understand any joke you make? Why the fuck would you think that we have the same IQ level with you, Joe? Wow, after saying all that, he is now fast asleep. Is that possibly a skill he has acquired? To fall asleep within milliseconds? There he goes again. The old fossil has gone back to his old hibernation phase, Barack. Finally, a peaceful and quiet session. I hope he never wakes up so that I can possibly focus in winning. And how did the sleeping Sleepy Joe possibly made it for his cute pink Axolotl Joe Jr. sleep next on top of him? I guess we underestimated Joe. I guess it is you and me for now, Barack. So how is life currently going for you, Barack? Are you and your husband in good terms now? For once again, Donald, take my wife's name out of your freaking mouth. Aside all that, we are having a wonderful time in our welcoming household. I am glad to hear that you and Michelle seem to be doing fine now after what you posted in TikTok about you missing your secretary in the White House. Screw you, Donald. It was not meant to be taken that way. I just said I miss my secretary being around since she always takes care of me back then. Being with you both made me feel like my secretary dumbass. Hurry up and come back here and help me build my great wall while Sleepy Joe is sleeping. How was your hibernation nap, Joe? We almost finished making the area while you were sleep talking about your ice creams again. Did I really talk about ice creams when I was asleep? Is this true, Barack? I am ashamed as much as I hate to admit it, but I always tell the truth, Joe. Yes, you did. You were talking about the top ten weirdest combination of ice creams you could possibly eat with your filthy-looking mouth, Joe. It was one of the most disgusting things I have heard. 
I should have mentioned eating egg and cheese ice cream shake dipped in with a flavored can full of vanilla ice cream or eating a chocolate ice cream with a pizza and pineapple on top. Joe, I am more concerned if what you said was one of the weirdest ice cream combination you ate, and if so, you need to seek medical attention to the nearest hospital facility ASAP. I agree with Donald Joe. Lessen your ice cream consumption, especially if those are your food combinations. Not only will you be a forgetful old fossil, you will also become a fat pig and possibly rip the same suit you wear in your presidential meetings. Shut up and screw you both. Who are you to tell me what food combination I could eat? Are you my ice cream doctor? Did you really hire an expert about how ice cream can affect one's body, Joe? This is one of the reasons why I should have won the presidential election only if it was not rigged. Just you wait, Sleepy Joe, and let me cook you up in this build battle. Everyone shut up and focus in making your builds or I will end up winning this competition. I already got myself a head start since I cannot wait until I beat both of your dumb asses. There you go again, Donald, trying to cheat a simple build battle competition. Is this how you also intended to win the election, huh? By having a head start from other candidates, you orange clown? Shut up, Joe. If you were that great, you would still win against me. You will only win against me once in your whole lifetime, Joe. But not today, dumbass. Focus both of you now. Let us see on who will become the best builder as presidents playing a Minecraft survival series. Is it not clear enough for you, Barack? I will even set a world record in building the greatest structure you could possibly think of since I am a super intense Minecraft player. Wow, Donald, even with my network of FBI and CIA agents waiting to bust down your door when I say so, did not even know that you were a simp. Just try and attack me, Sleepy Joe. I have Michelangelo in my side if you haven't forgotten. And how dare you call me a simp? Since when have I become a simp, Joe? You just said so yourself earlier, Donald. Even I got where it came from. What the fuck do you mean, Barack? Explain, Joe, before I nuke your house with this red button next to me. A super intense Minecraft player or a what you call a simp dumbass? What the fuck? If someone is a simp here, it is surely Barack. He simps for his husband more than he plays Minecraft. God damn it, Donald. Screw you and your stupid mouth, and what is wrong with being a simp towards my own wife? What is a simp again? I'm not quiet catching up here. What are you guys possibly talking about? This is why dementia pills are more important than your precious little ice cream combination, Sleepy Joe. I won't even bother explaining it to you. I would end up wasting my time on it. Joe, a simp is someone who loves someone to the point that they end up being obsessed. I guess I am a simp too. I am deeply a simp for ice cream and their flavorful combinations melting on my tongue. Stop saying such shits, Joe. And since when did ice creams become people's shithead? Can't you even hear what Barack just said? Yeah, Sleepy Joe, I said someone, not something. Oh my God, just how deaf are you becoming? Shut up, guys. No one cares about your opinion. From now on, simp can be referred to as an obsession to something, and I hereby declare that with the power of me as the President of the United States. Shut up, Joe, and do not give other people ideas or they will end up like you, dumbass. Yeah, I agree with Donald Joe. Focus and finish your builds or you all will end up losing against me. As if I would let you let me cook, dumbasses. Anyways, I will win in this competition and the viewers also think so. Comment down below who you think is winning. That will never happen, Donald. Not in a million years. Like and subscribe if you think so and comment down below Joe for president. Wow, this has to be the best house I have ever made. Joe, that means literally nothing. You are about as good at building houses as you are riding bicycles. Hey man, say what you want. I think I've got this building competition in the bag. Joe, there is literally zero possible way that you can beat my awesome house. Oh yeah, well I bet your house does not have as much of a varied color palette as mine. Shoot, why did I tell him that? Joe, by any chance, does this varied color palette include dirt? Um, no. Oh man, this base is going to look so cool. I almost feel bad having to compete with you two. There is literally zero chance that any of you are able to stand up to the pure awesomeness that is anything I create. Hey Donald, can you spare me any birch wood? Yeah man, sure. I don't have that much though. Hey, thanks man. No problem. You know I really am just that awesome. Shut up before you annoy me again, Donald. Oh man, this secret area is going to be so cool. Wait, what secret area? Oh, uh, nothing, Donald. Haha, <laughs> this is going to be so funny when they see it. Damn, I think I have outdone myself with this build. You always think you have outdone yourself, Donald. That is because I always do. You would not understand, Joe, because you are not on the grind set like me. Oh man, it is going to be so funny when they see this. When we see what? Oh, shoot, I did not mean to say that out loud. Uh, nothing. Joe, Jesus Christ, you are a moron. You are just jealous because I'm going to beat you in this build battle.
Joe, there is about as much of a chance of you winning this build battle as there is Obama going 15 minutes without simping for Michelle. Hey, shut the fuck up, Donald. You are just coping because you have about as much riz as a dollar store crack addict. That's fake news, Obama, and you know it. My riz is plentiful. And if I were to show off its true potential, I would have lines of bitches stretching out for miles just trying to talk to me. Bullshit. The only kind of women that touch you are housewives because they mistake your orange ass for fruit while getting groceries. Fuck off, Obama. This is why you haven't been president in seven years. I gave up presidency voluntarily. You had to lose an election to be picked out of office. Screw you, Obama. That election was bullshit, and we both know it. I never lose at anything, just like I will never lose at this build battle. I don't know, Donald. I think I might have you beat on this one. My build looks awesome. The best thing I have ever seen you build still makes a cardboard box look luxurious in comparison, Joe. Shut up, Donald. You were not even able to build a wall. What makes you think you can win a competition about building? The fact that I am a master builder, this build will be one for the history books. Historians will look back on this build as the greatest build ever made. Oh, hi. I see you there, Donald. Try not to get blinded by the overpowering beauty of my work while you are looking, Joe. I am not going to lie to you, Donald. I do not think it matters what you have built. This house is so perfect, I do not think that anything you make could beat it. Nah, man. My build is going to put whatever you have to shame. Joe, the only thing you are building is crippling back pain. Stop acting like you have a chance in this build battle. If my build was a real house, it would be worth millions. I am going to win this build battle just like I won the election. Stop acting like that election was not rigged, Joe. We all know I should have won. I won fair and square, Donald. Keep coping. Maybe if you ever manage to make it out of court, you can try next time. This house is really coming together. I think I'm going to win this build battle. Nah, man. My build even has a garden rooftop. Anyone would be privileged to live in a house as good as this one. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Joe. How close are you guys to finishing your builds anyway? I am still working on the inside of the house. Yeah, me too. Okay, cool. Well, I am about to get started on the roof. Oh, I have just gotten a really cool idea. Whatever it is, Joe, it will probably look awful. No way, Donald. This is going to be so cool. I think my build is nearly finished. Yeah, mine too. I just need to go and grab some water for it. What the fuck could you possibly be building? That means you need to go and grab water for it. It's a surprise, Donald. Just you wait until you see my base. You are going to have to hold your jaw off of the floor with a crane. I think the only thing I will be using a crane for is to attach a wrecking ball to it so that I can stop anyone from having to see your horrible base. Oh, hey, check out this MLG, guys. Oh, hell yeah, that was awesome. I feel like a rock star. I am surprised you feel it all, to be honest. I would have expected your old age to cause you to lose all sense of touch. Oh, man, the trek up this mountain is really tiring me out. I want a nap. You can take a nap once we are done with this build battle, Joe. I want you to be here for when I win. I think you mean when I win. This has to be the greatest build I have ever had the pleasure of seeing. Whatever, Donald. I would like to see your house have all of the same cool features as mine. Oh, don't you worry, Joe. My build is going to be so awesome that there is no physical way of me losing this build battle. Goddamn, man, my house is so drippy. Oh, my God, same. I cannot wait to show you guys my epic base. Yeah, man, I think you are going to really like my one. Do not even bother, you two. There is literally nothing you could possibly do that would make your bases better than my amazing masterpiece. I would beg to differ, Donald. This build is really starting to come together. Same here. This has to be some of my finest work. Anyway, are you guys finished with your builds yet? Almost. I'm just adding some of the finishing touches. I'm just about finished. Man, this base is so cool. Awesome. I'm just adding some of the finishing touches as well. All right, cool. I think my one is done. <laughs> yeah, mine too. All right, awesome. Mine is finished too. Holy crap, I think I have made a masterpiece. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and start checking out each other's bases. Ooh, ooh, me first. All right, let's do Joe's base first. Joe, what the fuck is this base? Why the fuck is the floor made of wheat seeds? It is convenient, Donald. Why have a farm when you can have it in your floor? That has to be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And what the fuck is this down here? Why do you have signs talking shit about us and an axolotl? Because fuck you two and because axolotls are cute as hell. Joe, this has to be the worst piece of shit base I've ever seen. If it is all right with you, Obama, I am just going to lock him in here so that he can think about what he's done, unleashing such an awful build upon the world. Yeah, that sounds good to me, Donald. But hey, check out my build. I would say you will be impressed, but I already know you will think you have won no matter what. 
Hey guys, wait up for me. Not a chance, Joe. Anyway, here is my fridge where I keep all of my top quality food. While my base is obviously so much better, I must say I am impressed, Obama. Especially after seeing Joe's pathetic excuse for a house, this is actually all right. Hey, come on, man, that was really mean. Shut up, Joe. You better still be locked in that crappy base. Hey, what are you doing in my chest, Donald? Nothing, Obama. Don't worry about it. Whatever, man. This must be enough to prove that I have won the build battle, though, right? No way. I definitely won. No way. Hey, everyone. Like and subscribe if Sleepy Joe's build sucks. And comment who you think won, even though it is obviously me. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, President Multiverse, or I will build a fucking wall around your house as well. Thanks. Donald, are you threatening people again? Shut up or I will...